Hello everyone, welcome in. My name is Madison and today we will be watching the Genshin Impact 2.7 special program. I'm super excited to be hearing some news and updates from Hoyoverse with everything going on in China. We have been in a bit of a lull with Genshin content, so I think everyone is super excited about this new information that we're going to be receiving on the 2.7 update. I assume that we'll be hearing a little bit about Yelin, maybe some character reruns, or even new characters who are going to be appearing. And I don't know what else to expect, honestly. I, I'm really excited. I hope that you guys enjoy this first look. Greetings, and welcome to the Genshin Impact ah! version 2.7 special program. It's Edo! I'm your host, Zach Aguilar, voice of Ether, and today I'm joined by... Max Middleman, voice of the Arataki Gang's one and only Leader Supreme, Arataki Ito. <laughs> Amazing and me. BA. Uh, I'm Laura Post, and I voice Yelan. So, wait, that's it? <laughs> well, Yelan's a woman of mystery, so let's keep it simple before we get to officially introduce her. A little awkward oh, right, there, it's fine. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and judging from the We're lovely like, okay. image we have here, there'll be lots of other characters also making appearances this time around. Yeah. So I'm sure it's going to be quite the party. Yeah. Okay, pausing quick, we can see Yan Fei up there. So maybe Yan Fei rerun. Interesting. Zhao. I've heard a lot of speculation about a Zhao rerun, so I'm very, I'm very curious about that. And then Kuki. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm so excited. This is great. Yeah, for sure. And travelers will definitely be seeing some familiar faces appearing alongside our new characters as we all delve into the chasm. The chasm. The chasm. <laughs> We're all like the chasm. I'm already super excited, and I'm sure everyone else is too. So let's kick things off with our brand new trailer for version 2.7. Yay! Hidden dreams in the depths. Roll tape! <laughs> Roll tape! Love it. I love Max's enthusiasm. Phenomenal voice My actor. My father, he's thinking of stepping down from the Tianshu position. I first met Yelan when she was very young. Ooh. Even back then, she was extremely tough. And she kept her cards close to her chest. The day the chasm was unsealed, I put in a request to be transferred here, so I could finally learn the truth of what happened back then. Ooh. Everything is chaotic here. If you stay here too long, this space may well devour you. It's like in Dragon Spine. Does that mean even Shao can't sense our presence here? Oh, wow. <gasps> Look Something at that. It seems Solid to have been group. activated inside the Fantastic Compass. I fear that this problem underground is bigger than we thought. Oh, dang. Just focus on taking care of yourselves. I'll figure out the rest. Oh, the dice! That's cool. That's cool. Okay, okay. She's hot, she's hot. <laughs> gotcha. Bust it. Let's go. Here comes the catch. Wow. Maybe I should make better <gasps> use of my time. So excited for Kuki. So excited. Oh my gosh. Our bond is strong. Oh! Get with me. Lightning? Your the weapon! Fight. That weapon. Oh, that was sick. No, it's alive. Why would you become like this? Oh, gosh. That sounds like Shu. Could he be in trouble? <gasps> oh, no. No way. Was that who I think it was? <gasps> this looks Something's crazy. Not right. <laughs> Something's wrong with this domain. Leave now. <gasps> Get out of there. I lured you here to this underground space because I found your weakness. My Die heart is here pounding. With me. That looks insane. Stop. That looks so good. Oh my gosh. I have chills. I have goosebumps all over. Oh. Oh my gosh, redeem these codes, guys. <laughs> redeem the codes today. <laughs> do it today. Last time, I didn't do it the same day. And guess who missed out on Fremos? Me. Don't make that same mistake. Don't be like me. Ooh, how dramatic was that? Yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, no kidding. Xiao's voice sounded a little odd in the trailer, so I hope he's okay. Yeah. 
and it looks like we also get to see some more of Lumine or Ooh. Ether, depending on which twin you chose. Yeah. And I'm not going to lie, guys. We have so much stuff to introduce to everyone today. I'm pretty sure that everyone's waiting to see all these new characters and what their new event wishes will be. So let's get started with that. Yeah. Oh, this is so good. I've been ready. In the ready. part of version 2.7, our new playable character, <laughs> Yelan, will be appearing in her own event wish. Oh. At the same time, our old buddy Xiao will also be returning for of a rerun course. in his event wish. In the later part of version 2.7, Arataki Ito That's yeah. will be making a return alongside his deputy leader, Kuki Shinobu, in his own event wish. Ah, oh, Kuki Shinobu. <sighs> She's a dreamboat. She can do anything. <laughs> Also, Agreed. in terms of weapons, travelers can expect to see an all-new weapon banner featuring the new five-star bow, nice. Aqua Simulacra. Ay. And that covers the new event wishes for version 2.7. Next, we have a quick trailer to give us a preview of the first of our new characters, Yelan. Roll tape! Okay, before we roll tape, I have to say I'm a little disappointed. I don't mean to be a hater. I was just really hoping for a Kazuha rerun. And like I said, I knew that there was speculation of Zhao. And I'm glad that Zhao was at the same time as Yelan. Um, I don't know if I'll wish for either, to be frank. But like, overall, not bad. I'm excited to see who the four star characters on their banners will be um, alongside Kuki. Roll tape. It was kind of Wanda, Wanda Maxima energy. <laughs> What's a little Wanda vision? <laughs> oh man, the coat is cool. How does it stay on? How does the coat stay on? Is it on the other arm? I have questions. <gasps> that was sick. Oh wow. Oh, that was cool. That was actually Hello, really cool. Call me Yelan. I think you may need my help. And I just so happen to be interested in some information you have. In other words, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Okay, okay. I liked that move with like the kind of thread cool. that traced through. <laughs> I like that dice move. We're all really like, like okay, maybe, maybe this is cool. It's like my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, I love how swift her movements are. Like, mm -hmm. ooh, mm -hmm. and that dash. Yeah, oh, super cool. Totally. Yeah. That's dope. And what a silky, smooth voice. Aw, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> the little so TV version is so cute. You may already recognize Yelan from when she appeared in the chasm. Her archery skills are pretty impressive. So, Laura, would you mind lifting the veil on this mysterious character? Of course. Yelan is the mysterious owner of the Yenshang Tea House in Liyue. Ooh. Definitely not the first mysterious tea house owner we've met. <laughs> That's right. Would you look at that? Seems like running a tea house can be a pretty confrontational job in Tibet. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I guess so. not no. Uh, actually, not though, no. being a tea house owner is not the only identity Yelan has. In fact, you could say that Yelan is a person with many different faces. She relies on her acting skills to naturally blend into any social setting, pull some strings to guide the course of events, and then poof. Poof. Disappear before anyone's noticed. Wow! <laughs> her activities have taken her across the other nations of Tavath and even to the abyss. All right, nice. <laughs> Their so faces. she also travels around Tavath, like the traveler. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, the like, blushing maybe face a down dangerous there. Dangerous looking than our traveler. Hey, the traveler can be dangerous. Well, Give us new traveler the thrill of exploring dangerous places and living on the edge a little. Interesting. If you ask me, Yelan is starting to sound more like a special agent type of character. Well, sounds like you are following the clues, Zach. Yelan is actually a special intelligence officer that reports to Ningguang, <gasps> and she serves oh, as a reliable cool. line of defense in protecting Liyue. Wow. Even those on the inside, like Ganyu, don't know the full extent <gasps> of Yelan's duties. So in other words, Yelan works under Ningguang? Kinda, but I wouldn't put it quite like Ningguang that. Ningguang is just Yelan, at the her top, Her relationship man. with Ningguang isn't about rank. It's more about a collaboration. Mm -hmm. Ningguang arranges dangerous work, and Yelan brings her the resulting intel. 
sounds so secretive. I, I'm kind of curious about how these two started working together. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll just have to wait and see. This is so interesting. Speaking of her work, Yelong keeps tabs on any extraordinary individual she comes across and puts them on a list. It wouldn't surprise me if we even found the traveler on her list. Oh. And that she's been keeping a close eye on them. <laughs> her voice actor is incredible. Really good. Wait, are, are you serious? Very, like, seductive. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, as someone who works in special intelligence, Yelon is a master of disguise and an expert at seeing through people and understanding what they're thinking. So, if you'd like to see how Yelon operates in tough scenarios and works to uncover the truth, then be sure to check out her story quest, Umbra Oh, that'll be Orcus so Chapter, good. Dropping in version 2.7. Sweet. Okay, so now that we've heard a little bit about Yelon's background, how about we talk about her combat capability? <gasps> yes! Let's do it! This is what Yelan I'm most excited for. wields a bow and manipulates a hydro vision. And in combat, she's a hydro DPS character that combines rapid attacks nice. with agile mobility. She's nice. an expert at weaving in and out of dangerous situations by swiftly moving across the battlefield and rejoining the fray with powerful attacks. She's so agile. You know, she may move as gracefully as a flower petal in the wind, but uh, do not cross her. She is a beast with that bow. <laughs> <laughs> After a short that time out of combat, cool Yelon will enter a breakthrough state, which will cause her next charged aim shot to have decreased charge time. Oh. And once charged, she can fire a breakthrough barb that will deal AoE hydro damage. Interesting. Yelon's speed becomes quickly apparent in her elemental skill, Lingering lifeline. Yeah. Tapping or holding the skill button allows her to oh, move rapidly dude. using her lifeline, marking opponents that one along looks her path. So good. When the rapid move ends, the lifeline will explode, dealing hydro damage to marked targets. Yelon also has a fixed chance to reset her breakthrough state based on the number of opponents marked. Wow. Ooh, cool. So we'd better try to mark a whole crowd of enemies yeah. to maximize the damage. Mm-hmm. Her elemental burst, depth clarion dice deals AOE hydro damage and creates wondrous dice, which aid her in battle. The wow. dice follow the character around and will initiate a coordinated attack when your active character uses a normal attack wow. and each time Yelon's lifeline explodes and hits opponents. With Yelon's okay, passive she seems talent, pretty good. Adapt with ease, I'm not gonna lie. the active character's damage increases over time while the dice are active. I'm telling you, do not mess with her. She sounds gnarly. <laughs> uh, sounds like she could also fill a solid support role, too. Totally. Absolutely. Oh. Yeah. Yelon also has another passive talent called Turn Control, which causes Yelon's max HP to be increased based on the number of elemental types that are present in the party. And finally, because of Yelon's understanding of the Liyue region, she gains increased rewards when dispatched on a Liyue expedition for 20 hours. Oh, cool! Oh, that makes sense. <gasps> I of love course, that! Even after That's sharing great. all this information, Yelon still has a lot of secrets. Travelers will have to spend more time with Yelon on their journey to learn more about her. That's She'll so also cool. be making an appearance in the new Archon Quest interlude chapter coming in version 2.7. We'll have more details on that shortly, so don't miss it. Nice. Okay, and I might be a Yelon now, believer now. I think it's about I time might be we a believer. our second new character, Kuki Shinobu. Hey! Oh, she's the pride and joy of the Archon. Aww. Game. Second to Ito, of course. So uh, let's bro. see her in action. So cute. Love that. Love that. <gasps> oh, she looks so cool. I love her makeup. Yes. Oh, the mask. Go off, queen. Oh, dude. Movements are a little slower than I would like, actually. But throwing the, is it shuriken or kunai knives? Either way, that's cool. Like that toss. Okay, electro. Obvi. Nice. Sword is cool. Oh, that's actually sick. Just let me know if you ever find that's yourself a cool in a move. pinch. I can help you out. Aesthetically, she's everything. I think she looks way cooler than Yelan, actually. a spicy actually. trailer. Yeah. I love the way she looks, like her color scheme yes! and of course the green hair and the mask. Like she looks super capable. Me too. Yeah, no, I love her design. She gives I love me that poison type like, lightning Pokemon blowing around vibes. her and the swords, the way they go up in the air and mm -hmm. go down. <laughs> well, you guys can see why she'd be an obvious addition to the Arataki gang. She's just that good. <laughs> uh, all right, leave the introduction to me, will you? 
Only after getting to know Shinobu can you really begin to fathom how important she is to the entire Arataki gang. Kuki Shinobu knows how to do almost anything and is constantly rescuing the boss, aka Ito, <laughs> and fellow gang members from dangerous situations. Such a With her help, the little wandering gang of misfits and Hanamizaka has become a skilled crew capable Aww. of taking on any kind of commission. Oh, I think I see who's really running things Honestly, in the game. Honestly, so yes. The real question here is why would someone as competent as Shinobu ever choose to join the Arataki gang? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what are you trying to say, Zach? <laughs> oh, you know what I'm trying to say. No, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, let's move on. <laughs> anyway, we need to track the start of Shinobu's story back to her family. Oh, Turns yeah. out that her family has traditionally served as shrine maidens to Narukami for okay. who knows how long. So you're saying she went from a strict family of shrine maidens to joining the Arataki gang? Yeah. That's, is that so surprising? That's a pretty big 180. A little. Well, it just goes to show how much she's changed. When she was younger, Shinobu was sent as an understudy to the Grand Narukami Shrine. But after a certain incident, she started to doubt whether she was really suited mm. for the strict life of a shrine. Good for her, so though. So Shinobu Doing decided what to leave she the path of her do. family behind and search for a path of her own. Out of <gasps> wow, curiosity respect. and personal interest, she took the initiative to learn a variety of crafts and skills. And it wasn't long before she obtained many certificates. So many, in fact, that she can't even fit all her qualifications on a business card. <laughs> for example, uh, Shinobu even went to study law in Liyue, Dang. which is when she met Yenfei. So <gasps> hey. they know each other. Yenfei has some pretty random acquaintances. <laughs> yeah, but Shinobu's had the chance to meet many people along the course of her studies, but because she wanted a free work environment, she's rejected countless work opportunities. She even passed on an opportunity from Kujo Tengu to work hmm. in the Tenryo Commission. Interesting. Wait, they know each other too? She knows everyone. Mm -hmm. She's in the and know. And guess who she chose to be with? Yes! You can guess. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Ningguang? It's the Arataki <laughs> game! Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, for, that, that. For some reason. Guys, I'm so excited. <laughs> it's great. Okay, moving no on. No one knows why. Moving on. <laughs> All right, if you're interested in learning more about Kuki him. Shinobu and the Arataki gang, and I know you are, then be sure to check out Shinobu's very own hangout oh event my in gosh. version 2.7. Not only will you get to see a day in the life of the Arataki gang, how exciting is that? <laughs> but you'll also get to learn a lot more about I Shinobu's I love the past. new hangout. And that's That'll about all fun. I can say for now. Travelers will have to check out the event to learn more. Okay, we've covered her backstory. Now let's see the Arataki gang's deputy leader kicking yes. some butt in battle. Who? Get it. Kuki Shinobu is a support character who wields a sword and uses her electrovision to both heal teammates and deal continuous damage from off the battlefield. She can do it all. Her unique skills allow her to sacrifice her own HP in combat in order to <gasps> heal other party members. Aww, it's oh, she's a healer! It's she's a healer! It's ah! generous. <laughs> when she uses her elemental skill, Sanctifying Ring, oh, she sacrifices a certain portion of her HP to create a grass ring of sanctification that will heal friendly characters within it and deal continuous electro damage oh, to surrounding Oh, so co-op? Co-op? After unlocking the passive talent Heart's Repose, her elemental skills healing and damage will be boosted based on Shinobu's elemental mastery. With another passive talent, Breaking Free, what, breaking when Shinobu's free? HP is low, her healing bonus is increased. So, travelers will need to monitor her HP when using her skill. You don't want it to be too low, but at the same time, lower is also better. Definitely, yes. Shinobu's elemental burst, Gyoe Narukami Kariyama Right, creates a special field in front of her that yeah, deals continuous this electro one looks damage so to cool. opponents within it. That would be and amazing. it goes without saying that Shinobu is amazing at like carrying Lisa's. out expeditions. Kind of like Lisa's uh, burst. Prayers, she gains increased rewards when dispatched on an Inazuma yes, expedition. Yes, we love hours. that. So she knows how to bring Similar home to a Yelan, I think. Tasty. It is. <laughs> It's very tasty. Let me tell you, man, Ito sure is lucky to have such a capable yes, deputy leader. Yes, he is. He's but very lucky. the feeling is mutual, and Shinobu feels the members of the gang are Aww. also super important to her. She is They cool. are her true family members, regardless of her rebellious nature. Although Shinobu has to bail them out of trouble over and over again, the gang is the only place Aww. she feels truly free and happy. I think it's great that they found each other. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
Well, I hope everyone is feeling pretty excited for these new characters. Oh boy, we covered a lot there. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely awesome, a lot. Though. So mm, I think it's about time we roll out our next redemption code. Hey! Redemption <laughs> Let's go! Roll out the redemption roll code! Roll out! <laughs> roll tape! Oh man, those two look really cool though, honestly. <laughs> Guys, look, I'm Yelan. I'm Yelan today. <laughs> And they'll be really cool new additions, and I really like Shinobu's, like, kind of strategy that you can incorporate with her healing ability. And Yelan had such a cool, like, psh, 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 thing, attack. I'm here for it. I like this. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, welcome back, everyone. We're back. We're back. Yes. <laughs> Next, we will be diving into some of the new events players can expect Ooh. to see coming their way in Love version 2.7. Our first event not only includes our new Archon Quest interlude <gasps> nice. chapter, but will also Ooh, contain a, a new challenge game mode. The <gasps> event's called Perilous Look Trail. at that bow. Look at that the bow. Archon Quest will be featuring a the very bow? unique cast of characters as Yenfei, Yelan, Ito, and Shinobu team up with the Traveler when they become stranded deep in the chasm. Oh, interesting. And it's not long before we also discover that Xiao is also conducting an investigation of his own in the chasm. Yeah. Investigation, you say, hmm? <laughs> because there's a lot of history and secrets buried within the chasm, the chasm including is the story huge. of how the people of Liyue huge. fought off monsters 500 years ago. Yelan has been monitoring this place for quite some time, trying to find out the truth of what happened back then. It turns out that this piece of history is also related to her origins. Ooh. The mystery. <laughs> the mystery. Yeah, the group will also find themselves facing a crisis in the chasm and will have to survive together in what will definitely be a thrilling experience. Mm. So from what's been revealed in the previous version, we know that there is a deep connection between the Yakshas and what happened in the chasm. It even seems that our vigilant Yaksha Shao has some obsession with the mm. area. It'll be interesting to see why he's in the chasm and what he's looking for down there. Travelers will have to follow Xiao's steps to learn more about the history that has been sealed there. Dude, the As chasm travelers play is through insane. the Archon Quest, the combat challenge Realms of Guile and War will also gradually become available. Travelers will need to constantly defeat enemies within a challenge domain. Oh. Completing three challenges will be counted as a round. The first Ooh. three domains will consist of three rounds, and the last domain will have six rounds. Interesting. What's unique about this event is that after each round, you have to rearrange your party according to the domain's rules. Oh, that For example, sounds cool. in the Dire Cliff Court domain, only one member of the current party can be selected oh. to continue on, while everyone else will enter recuperation mode and That's will be so unable cool. to fight. In another oh. domain, Kaleidoscope so Page, creative. two characters will be selected at random and will be unable to continue the fight. Oh. Interesting. So it looks like travelers will need to be prepared to face a variety of scenarios. That's so cool. Yeah. But it's like I'm a sure better spiral will abyss. come up with some teams and strategies to handle the challenges. Still, it sounds like they're going to need to use a lot of characters. Uh, I don't know if everyone's leveled up quite so many. Oh, yeah, that's <laughs> well. a good point. Um, I know I got to level up a lot of my characters. Um, <clears throat> oh, this is so, so cool. So it's important we mention that each of the domains will also have multiple trial characters prepared for travelers to use. Oh. And additionally, travelers may select and equip three stratagems per combat round that will provide buffs in battle. Oh, cool. Yeah. Travelers may consume stratagem shards they've collected in battle to redraw stratagems or select a stratagems. previously equipped stratagem for continued use. Stratagem shards may even be used to redeploy downed characters. With the help of all of these supporting mechanics, travelers can confidently try the challenges with different combinations of characters. Yeah, and in addition to exchangeable rewards in the event shop, everyone should remember to Dude, also the collect rewards from the challenge quests that bow on the is event beautiful. Page. The rewards will include an event-exclusive four-star <gasps> bow called Ooh. Fading Twilight. Oh, Ooh, I yes. love it! That's cool. So you guys have got to check out this event. Oh, I definitely will. Oh, that one looks so All right. cool. Our next I want to know event more is called A Muddy Bazaar Adventure. This one also this one takes so place silly. down in the chasm. Darn mysterious chasm. <laughs> so mysterious. 
For reasons unknown, some dark, mud-like substance has come pouring out of the caverns and mines of the chasm. True, I've seen once it. Again, I've the seen Sumerian it with my own scholar, eyes. Hosseini, has appeared to help us resolve the crisis. In this event, we will have to deal with constantly oozing dark mud, as well as monsters that have been strengthened huh. by its effects. Ooh, creepy. Yeah. With the help of Persina Spike, we'll need to clear the mud, weaken and defeat monsters, I love and this team let the that spike purify the surrounding area while energizing itself. Ka-ching doesn't get enough love, man. from monsters will disable the spike, so travelers must be sure to protect it. Also, when the spike that's operating normally, using blooming light with a lumenstone adjuvant of a certain level, will clear out nearby oozing concretions, granting Ooh. the spike additional energy and speeding up the charging process. Okay, oh, okay. Uh, as the event progresses through different phases, uses for the spike will also change. For mm. example, the spike could release shock waves at intervals that attack opponents and dispel the buffs that those opponents possess. Also, the challenge objectives will change throughout the event. In some challenges, travelers may have to defeat the enemies in a limited amount of time, while in others, travelers will have to escort a hot air balloon to its destination while clearing oh, out dark mud like along the, the way. In the last phase of the event, travelers will have to clear dark mud and defeat monsters to reach a high score. In this challenge, I feel like I'm less excited about and travelers this may part of the event, to earn more but points. it's fine. Travelers will need to be careful of the dark mud as it drains HP and affects our ability to move. Mm -hmm. So be sure to stay safe and make quick work of any enemies you encounter. The domains part looks Keep really cool, alive. though. <laughs> yeah. That event looks sick. I'm up! So you guys remember how I said that Shinobi <laughs> studied law in Liyue before? Well, the to celebrate her graduation, drum? we're holding a special event. The almighty Arataki Great and Glorious Drum Along Festival. Ooh. Which, in case you didn't catch that, is going to be another rhythm game event. Oh, yes! yes. Rhythm game. Rhythm, rhythm game. game. Rhythm game. Oh rhythm my game. Gosh. I'm ready. Yep. And we're going to be shaking things up a little from the previous music games. This time, <laughs> I was in show choir in high school, so I'm ready. Drum. So the game will be changing to a play style that is a little more suitable Ooh. for a percussive feel. It'll probably be best if we just show the travelers how it works. <gasps> Yay! So let's take a look at how to oh, play. Oh, I'm excited. <gasps> oh, they have different characters. All right, characters. here we go. Like you can play as them or are they the songs? Yes, pro mode. That's the only <laughs> kind of rhythm game I want to play. Ooh, the keys. Let's go, drum in hand. All right, it's like one of the semicircle style ones. Yeah. I'm to get behind that. Okay, so you gotta <gasps> use two hands. Yeah. All right. Stop! I mean, some people do them one-handed, but I can't imagine doing that personally. Yeah, it's <laughs> tough for me. We're seeing a lot of single notes. Yep, we, we got, got the, the we got the, the taps and we got the holes. You got tippy no, taps so and the holes. Good. And then we have the double notes, too. You have to hold them down at the same time. Nice, multitasking. <gasps> I'm really loving this. <laughs> this is all I will do. This is all I will do. Oh my gosh. Genshin drummer only. Oh my gosh. This music is bopping. I know, right? It is bopping. That's boppin'. what the, all the kids say. <laughs> bopping. It's a bop. Oh. Tough, complicated. I think they one. Oh, they missed one. No. <laughs> no. Combo. Look at breaker. that combo. Double notes. Lots oh! of double notes. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh my gosh. Better like, than Guitar Hero? Question mark. Music. I'm into this. Wow. <laughs> ah, I want to play it right now. I want to play it right now. Please. I can't wait. I physically cannot wait for this. Give now, please. I need... Oh my gosh. This is my time to shine. Oh, how fun is that? Oh man, that looks so fun to play. I will be the best. Well, considering that travelers might be playing the rhythm game on a variety of different devices, the designers have so kindly implemented a lag calibration function. This oh, means travelers can smart, calibrate their honestly. device by tapping the screen when they hear the accented and can adjust the decision Ooh, line until it roughly coincides with the note position they entered. By making these little adjustments, travelers can improve the gameplay experience for each of their individual devices or playing habits. Also, we'll be able to adjust the note falling speed as well as the volume of the button sound when pressed. Additionally, more detail was given to how the system determines whether each note is counted as successfully hit or missed. 
In this music game, travelers will have access to all three difficulties from the very I beginning. I want to play so, right now. So, travelers who are more confident in their drumming skills, <clears throat> such as myself, can clear the higher difficulties I'm and still be, be able to collect the corresponding gone. rewards for completing the lower yet. difficulties as well. And just wait, I haven't even gotten to the coolest feature yet. Oh, what? As tunes <laughs> are unlocked, a note editor mode will also be unlocked. <gasps> Oh, cool. Create your own. All right, that is pretty cool. <laughs> no Travelers can freely way! edit the note positions in these tunes to create their own beat maps of the game's musical scores, which can then be shared with other people. Nice. Stop! Of course, in order Shut to share your up! tunes with others, you will first be required <laughs> to play the song and reach a specific rank to generate the share code. Oh my and gosh. finally, travelers will also find some special gifts and messages I'm left cry. by some familiar friends at the festival. Aww. So don't forget to check those out. Oh, I will. Oh, I know you will. All right, and last <laughs> oh, but I know not you know least, I will. we have another interesting event. The aim of the event? Create a robot. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, nobody saw that one coming. That's right, travelers will receive a material collector from a toy oh. merchant from Fontaine. There are a total of three processes you must complete. Number one, source material collection. Okay. Number two, elemental charge. And number three, core activation. Completing these processes will produce a robotic furnishing that can be placed in the Serena teapot. The robots can have a variety <laughs> of possible model types back. and <laughs> animations, which will be determined by what you do during the three processes we just mentioned. There is even That's a chance cute. to produce a special furnishing that can perform all three animations. Ooh. Oh, nice. During the event, travelers will be able to claim a total of four robots from test model Aww, vouchers. If, say, cute you were unable robot. to produce the model you wanted, you can use the trade function to send requests and obtain the product model that you need. So, who's excited to make some robots? Ooh, I am. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see what everyone makes in this event. And that's it for the new events in version 2.7. Next, we have some important so good. system updates and optimizations coming to the game. <gasps> okay. First, to help travelers on their adventures, the system designers have added challenge feature tips to the beginning of some high-level material domains. These will include some suggestions on how to quickly defeat the monsters in the domain, mm. which might help travelers find the optimum team or strategy to efficiently clear it. Next, the system designers will be providing some detailed tips to help players train and strengthen their characters. Oh, cool. When players open the character talents menu, they can use the newly added talent reference button to see talent priority <gasps> recommendations That's based on so the actual cool. data of other active That's players. That's going to be great and for new by players. The attribute this reference is button super in the cool. Character artifacts menu, players can see the main attribute usage statistics for each artifact slot. What? The system designers wish That's to give so everyone cool. more intuitive data to reference while choosing how to strengthen each wow. of your characters. Wow! Ooh, cool. So, yeah. That'll make it easier. Um, the That's talent awesome. reference button looks super convenient. Like, it seems like it would be really helpful if you're kind of on the fence and you yeah. don't know what you want to pick. You can see what everybody else has, like, done in the past. Oh, wow. totally. Anyways, we nice also one, have Hoyoverse. another update regarding the game's music. During uh, version 2.7, we will good. be releasing a new OST album, Millilith's Watch, which includes all the music composed by the Hoyo Mix team for the new Chasm area. Hey, Ooh, let's go. Sounds cool. My favorite part of any game is the soundtrack, so I'm looking forward to hearing that. Yes. Okay. Next, we have a new collaboration to announce to everyone. Genshin what is it? Impact will be teaming up with the Funko brand oh, to release yes! a series of Genshin Impact Funko Pops. I need Pops. this. Whoa. I need this. Yeah. Oh, I'm so the first excited wave for these. Will feature figurines I need them. of Paimon, Ether, <coughs> the the one I, I voice, <laughs> and Lumine. I need. These will be released as Funko Pop Asia bobblehead figures. Oh, Travelers cool. who are interested can head to the official Funko website to be notified oh my when gosh. the figures are released. I want all of them. Oh, although you have to wait for the figures, you won't have to wait for the next redemption code. <laughs> hey. Oh my gosh, I need the Funko Pops so bad. I swear, if they sell out, I cannot go on. Are we seriously at the end already? No, For real? That no. flew by. Yeah, it but did. we actually covered a lot of content oh, today. Definitely, yes. You know, we did cover a lot, didn't we? And as usual, I gotta ask you guys, how did you like being on the special program? 
Super fun. It was great. <laughs> I love so my little chibi. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, and I'm They're super so excited to have gotten to give Yelan a formal introduction. So that's yeah. nice. And I, I'm really excited for people to meet Kuki. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, there's so many things coming. Um, like I'm... the rhythm game. Yes. The rhythm, the rhythm game. game. Rhythm game. Yes. And uh, building a robot. Yes. I'm excited for the storyline. Yeah, the as story well, looks really see, good, actually. You know, more of what is happening down there in mm -hmm. the chasm. There's a lot going on down there. <laughs> True. But yeah, I guess that is it for today's ah! special program. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see y'all next time. Oh my time. gosh! Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Oh, they were so cute. Guys, that was amazing. They look so good. Oh, I'm so, so excited. I am still curious, though, who the other four stars on the banners are going to be. Maybe they've released that information. Maybe not. Maybe I missed it. I don't know. But if you know, feel free to leave a comment. And also, feel free to leave a comment if you enjoyed this video or what your favorite part was or what things you're excited for in 2.7. I am hyped. At first, I was a little skeptical. I was like, I don't know if I'm going to pull for Yelan, and now I might be swayed. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want more awesome Genshin content from me, Madison. If you want to follow me on Twitch as well or my other socials, that information is here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing rest of your day, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!